First thing, go to the funnel website or landing page where you want to add the email form. So I will navigate to websites, sales funnels. I will click on the funnel where I want to add the email form. And I'll go to edit page. As we can see, we have very simple landing page that we created before. You can check this video where we were building this landing page. And on this landing page, there is no email form, but we will be adding the email form between this text and this call to action button. So first thing we need to do is we need to add a row. So navigate to the left sidebar, click on the row and drag it between the text and the call to action button. One thing I would do, I would change the background color to match with the rest of the landing page. So I would make it this blue because this is the same color as the call to action button. Before I start importing the fields of the email form, I would also make the width same with the call to action button. So the alignment is better. So click on the call to action button and check the margin from the right, which is here, 25. And we can do the same for the row, so 25. The left is on zero and it's the same on the call to action button. And another thing I want to do is to make the corners the same radius as the call to action button. So again, click on the call to action button and check the radius. The radius is 10, so go back to the row and change the radius to 10. Perfect. Now we can start importing the fields of the email form. So in the left sidebar, scroll a bit lower. Click on the form input and place it into the row. Now we have empty field and we will set up this first field as first name. So click on the field and here you can select an input type. In this case it will be first name because in most cases the email form has first name or name and email and that's basically it. You can rename the placeholder if you want to name only for example. And now we can add the second field for the email itself. So again, click on the form input, drag it under the name. And here you can select email. So our email form is, it's basically done. One thing I would change is this space on the top because it's wider than on the bottom. So click on the field and we should go here and change the top margin to zero now you can also check how it looks on mobile which you can do basically by switching the view to the mobile view and then again you can modify it here in this editor it's pretty the same so go back to the desktop view and to make this form work we need to set up the trigger for opt-in into the email form in this case we will use this call to action button so click on the call to action button and here you can see there is action when button clicked and it says submit form, which is correct. You have other options like show pop up, open URL, next step URL, but we want this call to action to work to submit to the form. So select submit form and another thing here is do you want to redirect users after contact registration? And the select option is to the next step. That means if there is another page in the funnel, in our case there is, there's thank you page. After the email form opt-in, the visitors will be taken to the thank you page. You can also select to a custom URL where you basically can paste whatever URL you want, maybe some affiliate offer, I don't know. And after they submit, they will be redirected to that URL, but I will keep it to the next step. So here we should be done. We have email form, we have call to action button, which is set up for submit to the form. So we can save those changes. And now we should try if everything works as it should. So exit the editor. 
And as you can see in the funnel, we have squeeze page, which we just edited. And we have also thank you page as the next step of the funnel. So after we opt in into the email form, we should be taken to the thank you page. So go to view funnel step and opt in into the form we just created. Click on the call to action button. And we were taken to the thank you page.